All right, good morning, everyone. This is the Helm Dev Call for Thursday, June 6, 2019. Um, so for anyone who has not been here or is coming in uh, to watch the recording, uh, what we normally do here for the format is that we do any announcements that have happened over the last week. Then we go into uh, stand-ups. So first, the core maintainers normally give a stand-up on what they've been doing for the last week, what they're going to do next week. Um, and then we ask anybody from the community who wants to give a little quick stand up and then we go into deeper discussion items uh, that's just not like uh, going on with your week. So uh, I have one announcement for this week. Um, so uh, for Helm, the project, we over the last week we've migrated um, the download URLs for the Helm project over to a, or a website called get.helm.sh. So for most of the download sites where you go and get your stuff from GitHub releases, where you get it from uh, the get script and all that other information has now been changed over to this URL. Um, the three main benefits of this over the, before we had a Google uh, container storage account and that URL was directly being used in the releases and in the get script and everything else. Um, this had a couple of challenges, uh, which this helps to address, which is um, now that we have a vanity URL for our downloads, um, we now can change the storage account basically on the back end anytime that we need to uh, without having to uh, disrupt users in the future. So we can now host all of our assets without having to disrupt users uh, if you have to switch accounts. Um, so there's that uh, as well. Uh, when we moved providers, we moved over and evaluated a bunch of different storage providers. And one of the big things was uh, support for China, uh, support for getting downloads in China, Google containers or Google cloud storage, was not available in the China region. So people over there had to figure out and put their own mirrors up uh, to get Helm downloads for Helm 2. So now with this, we're on Azure Blob Storage and with Azure CDN, it has region support for China. So we're able to serve those downloads uh, for China without having to set up mirrors, um, which is great from security and uh, attestation and everything else standpoint. Um, and then as well, uh, now that it's been uh, delivered through a CDN, we're actually able to send it to endpoint nodes across the world. So nobody ha has to connect all the way to North America to go and get their downloads. They can actually get a CDN that's in their region. So um, that is the main announcement that I had. Is there any other announcements that anyone else wanted to give? You want to announce anything for Helm Summit? Oh, good point. Um, so yesterday, a bunch of the co-chairs met up for the Helm Summit just to talk about what's going on. So the CFPs or the CFP deadline is over now. Um, so we, the program committee is currently going through and reviewing all the CFPs. And I think it's June 15th, which is, or June 14th, June 15th, which is next week is when the reviews are finished and then the co-chairs come in to do uh, the actual scheduling and everything else for the conference. So uh, more news to be shared on that in the future. Um, I'm not sure when our schedule is actually getting announced, but that information should be available on the Helm Summit website uh, when we get that information shared. Um, we're also actively looking for um, sponsors, so if you are interested, uh, feel free to contact me or Karen, who's not here on the call, but uh, and Michelle or anyone else that you see on the program committee or co-chair committee, and we'll happily send off that information to where, where we need to. Mm, yeah, that's it. Cool. All right, let's go into stand-ups. So let's go with Brian today. Oh, right, your microphone doesn't work necessarily. <laughs> let's go to Butcher. Mr. Butcher. Can you hear me now? Can you yes. hear me now? Sorry. Um, I'll turn my video on too. Um, I have to watch out for trains because because uh, when they come by my backyard, it gets really loud. Um, I've been gone almost all week. I just got back last night. So other than just kind of tracking a few issues here and there on the helm queue, um, I haven't I've done anything noteworthy this week. Uh, I'm back today. I'm back for about a week or two, and then I'm gone again. Um, I will pass on to uh, who else needs to go. Uh, you are the first, so everyone else. 
Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah, I'll pass on to other Matt. I'll just go do a Matt to Matt to Matt. Okay, I guess when he said other Matt, that was me. Um, so this week, uh, let's see, I started working on being able to detect individual, uh, what is it, objects or uh, within Kubernetes. So right now the capabilities API allows you to detect a, uh, a group of a version like apps v1, but it doesn't let you detect anything inside. Uh, that's kind of a problem with CRDs and groups because you can detect that a group is there at an API version. But if over time that API version grows and grabs, you know, adds CRDs to it, there's no way to detect what's inside in order to know what to install or how to act on things. And so one of the things that I started working on was actually being able to grab all of those things and populate the existing uh, capabilities objects, the API versions on it, so that the has command will be able to pick those up as well. Uh, doing it this way was something Adam and I had worked out a few weeks ago, and the code for the pull request just went up. Um, other than that, it's like merging things to the Helm Hub. We've been getting probably six new, five, six new repos a week for the last three or four weeks. And so it's growing quite a bit in size. Uh, we are talking about, um, do we, right now the names have to be lowercase uh, just because of how they're transformed into cron jobs and things like that. We're talking about, do we allow uppercase names and then convert them to lower automatically and what do we do? That's happening over on the monocular issue queue uh, and it impacts the hub. Hopefully we'll have that worked out soon. For now, everything just has to be lowercase and follow DNS naming rules. Uh, that's it for me. And so with that, I'll actually break the mat loop and pass it off to Michelle because Matt's the host. Hey, uh, yeah, been working on um, the Helm test refactor uh, since I got back from vacation. Um, and I also updated the proposal, um, the Helm test proposal, uh, just because we had discussed in a lot of different um, issues, like a lot of things about um, how, what people want to see with Helm test. So I just wanted a place for everybody to see all of that in, in, in one place. So um, that's up in the community repo. Uh, I'm going to continue doing that work. I talked to a few people also about, uh, talked to a few people who also want to help with that work. So um, yeah, it's moving along. Uh, other Matt? Last Matt? Sorry, I was uh, sending a message to Radu who asked me, um, about something unrelated. Uh, so, uh, what I've been doing for this last week, yeah, so I've been working on the get.helm.sh migration, which I am pleasantly shocked that there was zero reports on the migration over from the Google Cloud Storage over to get.helm.sh, so uh, I was happily able to fall asleep and not lose any sleep. Uh, it was great. So, I think that's the first time we've ever done like a major migration of data that has not caused any downtime or any issues. Uh, so um, there was that that went on last week. Uh, I've also been working on some Helm 3 stuff. So I've actually been taking a look at some of the community PRs that have been going through. Uh, some people have been fixing bugs in Helm 3, as well as um, just going over some of the design, or not through the design decisions. They had some questions about what could we do better with the design in Helm 3, like uh, in terms of the Go SDK and different things like that. So I've been, uh, kind of going back to those issues that we've been leaving over to the wayside for the last little bit and asking them, uh, old PRs, would you like to take a look at this again now that the tiller's been refactored and removed? Um, and going through some of the design questions and uh, having those discussions otherwise. Uh, what I plan to do for the next week is uh, taking a look at the Alpha 2 release um, and going through some of the things that we want to take a look at implementing. Um, so I'm going to be going through that list and actually uh, going back into the code base and doing some more deep dive uh, code. So uh, I think that does it for um, you moved out of the closet office. Nice. Um, so for anyone else, is there anyone that is not a core maintainer that wants to give a quick stand up before we go into discussions? I'll take silence as a no. All right. So discussion. So the first thing on the board here, uh, Li Zhang, um, he wanted to talk about uh, Alibaba Cloud and the Helm Hub China. So uh, would you like to take that off? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I will share my screen for a little bit. OK. 
Okay, so can you show my screen? Yep, we can see it perfectly. Yep, yep. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, so yeah, um, so basically, um, uh, so I'm Lee Zhang in Komihari, and also I have my colleague here, Hong Chao Deng, and we all work for Alibaba Cloud. And then today I will share a little bit about our project, which is aimed at um, localizing, the, uh, which aimed at uh, a clone or mirror of uh, Helm Car of China in uh, Alibaba Cloud. So. So I want to explain a little bit why we need to set up um, a clone of Helm Hub in China because as actually Mark had mentioned, and a lot of things that has been blocked in mainland China website um, networking, like for example, the storage from Google Cloud, uh, the, Google, uh, the, the Google container registry, and of course the, the, a lot of, uh, yeah. yeah, and AWS A3 and a lot of other uh, container registry that is actually unavailable in mainland China, so that actually makes the official Helm Hub, which is actually unusable right now. So the Chinese developer cannot use Helm Hub to search. They can search the, the, the charts, but they cannot just download the charts or Helm install the charts. It's impossible. They have to do localization. They have to modify the charts by themselves. So this is the first reason. And the second reason we want to do this is actually um, Helm adoption is still at a ver very early stage in Chinese market. One of the uh, uh, evidence that if you search Helm usage in Chinese uh, by whatever using Google or Baidu and you, you'll actually notice there were facts, for example, most of the information provided by Chinese is actually out of date. And um, there, there are very few mentions by mainstream local te technology media in, in, in Chinese um, uh, websites and there are very few discussion about Helm in local tech forums. So, so for, from my point of view, actually Helm adoption is still at like 2017 or 2018, comparing to United States, it's like one or two years gap between um, the mainstream upstream uh, community. So that's also another reason that we think setting up uh, a localized Helm hub uh, in, in Chinese market may, may actually help this situation. Okay, so uh, the so the Helm hub China is actually um, very simple. It's you can think it as a mirror or clone of the official Helm hub. Uh, the only difference is that, that it, this website is hosted by Alibaba Cloud Open Source Center. So we should pay attention that this is hosted by the Open Source Center. So it's not a product of Alibaba Cloud and it is um, fully open to and free open to every developer in Chinese market and it's a non-profit project. So this is the first thing. And the second thing I want to mention is that we actually have um, a, a, a we call it a sinker, which is actually a program which will do the local, localization work for all the Helm charts we, uh, we, 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 we cloned from the, from the Helm hub. And uh, it basically works like we will actually um, the clone all of the Helm charts from Helm hub every day, and then we will replace the, um, the storage part, the, uh, the, the image part, to a localized provider. Uh, that is what we are doing actually, it's very simple. So, so in that case, any charts you find or search from this Helm Hub will actually work uh, seamlessly on any cloud provider or their local Kubernetes cluster in China. That is what we are doing. And uh, we also use the GitHub repo to cooperate with the developers in China so they can send a pull request to say, hey, I want to contribute these this, this, this charts to this repo, so, so that will be fine. And all of this um, Helm Hub is also built with open source Charm using projects. And what we, what we only do is actually a, a, a localization program and a website, which is a front end. And all the bank and stuff is actually from open source. And uh, for, the for the underlying storage, we're actually using the Alibaba Container Registry, which is a battle tested uh, container registry service. And it's, it's also free to every developer. So we don't need to charge anything from that part. So this is basically how Hemp Hub China is working now. And I, I just to give you a very simple, uh, uh, this is the screen, screen shot of the, what, what this website looks like. It actually looks like very similar to the uh, official Hemp Hub. It has a portal so you can search the charts freely and you, you can then um, go to the detail part. And, but when you go to the detail part, you will notice something has been changed, for example, um, uh, for the installation part, we will actually uh, give you uh, uh, it's, it's, um, a localized URL. So you can just uh, say uh, Helm repo add. This 
Helm Hub repo, and then you can then do just Helm install. You don't need to change the charts anymore. And it also replaced the, um, the, the Helm repo added or Helm install URL in the readme part. So the Chinese developers can just use anything they show uh, they so in the readme just um, install the application just there's no any there's no any block animal so if you guys are interested in this website uh, you can actually uh, log into this url you can actually go into this url which is now the preview version of the website and you click it uh, oh sorry I, I did not share this that's fine so if you just go to that website, you will see this portal, but the installation part is still under developing because we need to verify that every chart in this repo uh, can be deployed on the local cloud provider or on the local Kubernetes. So we have the CI job running every day to verify that. So after we have verified that all, the, all of the charts has been ready, we will uh, actually release the install part. So that is how the um, Home Hub China is working and this is the project. So we have some discussion to um, talk with the uh, Helm community. So first of all, as you can see that we are now using an independent GitHub repo to host Helm repo in China. So um, in that case, the Chinese developer will actually contribute their, their charts and maybe some of, the, some of the charts is in Chinese into this GitHub repo. So I, I'm not very sure if this is the concern for the Helm community. Like, do you think this is fragmentation? Because uh, we are open, we are, we are fully open to merge this GitHub repo with Helm Trust repo, or we can actually contribute this repo to Helm organization. So this is the first thing we want to discuss. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Harry, for uh, going through this presentation. This is actually fantastic. Um, one of the things that I was interested in hearing, so you mentioned that you have to do relocation of the Helm charts, uh, as in you have to put them on the Alibaba cloud, as well as I noticed that you also had to do the Docker image relocation as well. How is that all moved over and relocated onto Alibaba cloud or relocated such that it's available in China? Yeah, actually we will replace the, uh, the image URL to a uh, localized uh, uh, container registry, which is uh, host on Alibaba Cloud. So that, that will be available for every Chinese developer. So we will replace the charts content. Gotcha. Which okay. Is, yeah, which is, this is done, uh, done by a, a backend program, which is running every day. So I see. So what this does is the repository URLs and the requirements, which point to Google Cloud, it replaces those with another repository where it can get the chart. Uh, when it comes across images that are in GCR, it replaces those with the ones that are in an available location. Yes. Uh, but here, I noticed you have Quay up. Is Quay not available in China? Uh, yeah, Quay actually, its backend is AWS uh, S3 storage. This is actually uh, partially blocked in mainland China as well. Oh, okay. No, that's what I was looking for. So I, I didn't realize that Quay was partially blocked in China. All yeah. right, thank you. Yeah, partially, yeah. So sometimes it works, sometimes not. So we also need to replace that. So, so as somebody who's on the chart side, uh, I, I, I kind of like this. Um, and in fact, once it goes live on the main charts repo, uh, we'd probably be happy to link off to another location that handled China. Mm -hmm. I, I wonder if there's a way to integrate the Helm Hub uh, with and handle the Chinese directly. I don't know if that would be easy. But um, going multilingual on the Helm Hub itself is something that I could see in the future. Not, not probably not right away. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think we're ready for that. Well, but well, integrating it so we don't have to uh, do lots of dual effort, we can all focus on the same thing, is something we would be interested in. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Um, but yeah, in the short term, I don't see a problem. The one thing to know is that when Helm 2 gets deprecated, the stable charts repo will probably be deprecated as well. Um, and we're because we're trying to move everyone to a distributed model. Uh, so, so what I, do you mean by distributed? Yeah, what what is a distributed? You mean you, you use Docker registry or something else? Uh, we mean hosted by lots of people in their own repositories rather than one central community one. Uh, what was the reasoning behind this? Because like, how uh, can a developer? How can I find some specific char that I want? It, that's what the Helm Hub is for. So the Helm Hub currently lists 
charts that are in dozens of different repositories, not just the stable and incubator. So when I say that the charts repository, I'm talking about the stable and incubator, the charts repo on the Helm GitHub org. Uh, what you'll find in the Helm hub is a lot more than that now. Okay. Uh, and, and that's where we're trying to move to many people hosting them. The charts, the stable and incubator has grown to a point where we can't keep up with the maintenance on it anymore. Mm -hmm. It takes too much activity for a small set of maintainers and we've tried a number of things mm -hmm. and we can't get it moved. And as you know, it's in uh, Google's cloud, which doesn't work in places like China. And because the URL is hard coded there, we can't easily move its location. Um, because it's hard coded in lots of clients. And so we have to do something about changing the URL when we deprecate it. And we can't handle the load over on the charts repo. We've slowly been ticking up in the number of open pull requests and there just aren't enough people to handle the amount of activity. And uh, so we're hoping by distributing things, we're putting people in more control of their charts. Yeah, so uh, one thing I want to mention is that in right now in the Helm repo channel, we actually are not only uh, localized to the official Helm hub. We actually, we actually noticed that the, the current Helm hub actually it's more like a combination of every repos from every developer. So we actually have um, noticed that. So we, we are also synchronized um, a lot of uh, other people's uh, Helm repo to this um, Helm hub China. So I think uh, as long as the, the official Helm repo migrated to um, a decentralized model, and I think we will do that as well. So we will just keep the, uh, the, the, the Helm repo channel here, and we will also um, uh, sync all the other uh, developers repo to, to the GitHub repo here and do localized uh, for the charts. All right, so uh, just for a quick time check, we're actually at 9.58, so we have two minutes left. Um, so for in terms of next steps, uh, Farina, do you know what would be the right place to move this discussion to? Would it be uh, bring this to the charts community and talk about this uh, yeah. through the mailing list or through Slack or something like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. So we have another discussion, a small discussion topic, because we are actually looking at if we can use Helm and the CD pipeline here, but seems it, it's very difficult right now. So we want to ask, maybe do, do, do we have some other, some other plan, plan like split Helm components or we will have an independent Helm CD project so we can do that, uh, by, so we can do continue delivery by using Helm. Yeah, I think, so there's a couple of projects out there um, outside of the Helm, like Helm or the GitHub at Helm org that have been trying to address the, like the continuous deployment problem. Um, I think, uh, I can't remember the name right now. Why is it escaping me? I'm thinking of Flux, and I think, does Argo CD support it? Yes. There are a, a couple of them. So we have in the Helm V3 roadmap, decoupled from the release of Helm V3, the idea of a controller. Um, this may show up in the ecosystem rather than being a core Helm project with more than one. I don't think we've we've jumped on it yet, but some other people have started to uh, build controllers to do more continuous deployment. Um, I think Argo supports it, and I know that uh, WeaveWorks Flux does. Um, those are the two that come to mind. Where we, we're if if the ecosystem is going to go try to build some of these things, we're okay leaving some of this up to the ecosystem. Okay. And right now we, we haven't done anything officially as a project yet. Okay. I see. Thank you. So we yeah. have we're, we're open to discussions to talking about like if there are particular components of Helm that are interesting, like the go SDK that are interesting for the ecosystem to solve these problems. And we're happy to enable those, but the amount of engineers that we have available for working on like projects like Helm 2 and Helm 3, we simply can't work on every single ecosystem project. So we've been relying on the help of the community to work on those projects and we kind of help out where we can um, in terms of like where discussions uh, become cross-cutting and where it'd be helpful to work together. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and if somebody does build a project like this, we are very happy to link to it in our related tools area to mm -hmm. point and tell people about it. Sure, I think we can actually talk this offline because we do have some plan to working on this, this kind of project. Oh, and actually Matt, just uh, one more thing, little thing that I can think of, like I saw in the ham, um, just the website, 
that like Alibaba is not listed, like that we are a big user of that and we all actually want to host a, you know, like a Chinese like location for like mirror for that. So can we be listed um, as, as a company in the HAM website, official website? Uh, I don't, I, you know what? Can you over on the Helm dash dub 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 www repo file an issue on that? I don't see a problem, but off the top of my head, I don't know what it is to have something listed there. Okay. Right. Um, and so, PDF thing yeah. Or if it's a, yeah. So that'd be an interesting question I, to have, actually. Yeah, yeah it, it is. I think this will spur a good conversation. I, I don't know the answer. Um, but if you file an issue, we will track it down. Okay. Uh, the other thing that I would ask, because I know we're out of time, is over on the Helm Hub project, um, can you file an issue about the Chinese one? And when it's ready to go live, give us the URL, things like that, so we can list it? Uh, yeah, of course. Fantastic. Thank you. All right. So Taylor, oh, sorry. Uh, so Taylor had mentioned that he wanted to talk about the last item. Unfortunately, he was on call today. So he was not here. He said that Scott Rigby might be able to talk about it, but he's not here either. So I think we have to table that discussion for next week. Um, so at this point, I think we can go into assignments. So does anyone want to be moderator for the next week? I'll take it. Huh? Okay. Thank you, Farina. Does anyone want to take notes? I will. I'll take notes. Oh, thanks, Michelle. Michelle, we'll take notes. Um, Anyone want to take issue Sherpa? Or we can bring this offline to the uh, to the core maintainers list and see if anyone brings up there because there's not too many core maintainers on the call today. So I will bring that offline. All right. Thanks everyone for coming along. See you next week. Thank you. See you.